All right, good morning. There's no heater on in the background. Don't have my headset on. Hopefully the microphone in this phone is, is good enough to pick this up nice and clear. Um, I appear, it appears I'm back on YouTube and I will be uploading this shortly. Um, I did give an accounting. Um, hate speech is coming from the left. I do not think that that is the video that YouTube found offensive. Nevertheless, I limited that video to only those above the age of 18. Uh, this one is going to be mainstreamed. I'm hoping that I can get someone to help me manage my channel and help me manage some other aspects of business and to share in, hopefully, the wealth. Hopefully, I can actually generate something. I do not want to monetize this channel. I don't want to be collecting money from YouTube. I do have a Bible for sale. It is the latest and greatest Bible. And you will see in the comments of the description that you can follow the link and buy one of those and that will help me quite a bit. Now, I'm, uh, I'm continuing not to answer my phone because the number of Medicare fraud stuff is off the charts and I can't get them to stop. It is harassment, terrible harassment, and they must call me a dozen times a day. So I just don't answer the phone anymore um, unless somebody is in my phone or in the address book or if they leave a text message uh, identifying themselves or leave a voice message. So that's just the way I'm going to do that. Um, I've also managed to get some attention from the FBI. Uh, my message to the FBI is very simple. I, I'm not talking to you. I can't think of anything constructive that can come from any further conversations with any member of the FBI. I've been into the FBI offices several times across my life, and they have screwed up everything I've ever reported to them. So far as I'm concerned, the FBI can take a hike until it solves the Kennedy assassination and the cover-up of the Kennedy assassination. So that's the standard that I require, and then I might talk to you fellows once again, but I don't see any reason to talk to you because I don't think you have anything to do with really enforcing laws. You're just trying to uh, cap down on us little people. Uh, yes, I do say some things outlandish, and we have the First Amendment free speech rights. And the purpose of that is not so we can go offending people, but it's so we can at least talk freely and communicate freely, and hopefully come to some recognition as to some values and some mutual values and mutual truths, and maybe build our consciences up, build our standings up, get a better idea of what's best to do for ourselves. As far as this government goes, it's too big. It's not even our own government. It's not a legitimate government. You see, if you read the Bible, you may come to the conclusion that I came to, which is that we have been deported in place. So instead of moving us from here to a foreign land, a foreign jurisdiction. They brought the foreign land, the foreign jurisdiction here. So they've conquered America. They've taken the whole place over. They run it. They own it. And the only way we're going to get it back is going one step at a time. At least that's what I would prefer because I think that's going to be less violent and uh, less, less problematic. But the left insists upon hate speech and upon violence. And YouTube seems to encourage them to do that. And the FBI seems to encourage that stuff as well. They're always looking for some problem to, you know, to give somebody else. They really should never have been created. Now, the reason I started this video was to clarify. I had a video that why women need to have, quote, the right to vote taken away. Will Americans repent or go back to sleep? Now, the problem is, aha, I've got one version of the Declaration of Independence. Where's the other one? It can't be very far away. I will find it shortly. 
I'm going to read this to you, but I want you to understand what I'm getting at is we need the complete American reset to the structure our founders gave us. And part of that is going to be women have to be desensitized and understand the wisdom in taking away their right to vote, so to speak, because that's not what this is about. The main thing is that we have to give up the 19th Amendment because voting is done at the state levels. It's a state's issue. It's state rights. It's up to the policies of the individual states. That's one of the reasons why we have the Electoral College, because states have different voting. And there's different voting for good reason. So there's no reason to get rid of the Electoral College. But we have to get rid of all of the illegal, illicit amendments, including the one Abraham Lincoln overwrote. Well, the one he overwrote is the legal one. The one he overwrote it with is the anti-slavery amendment. And I know you're going to go running around. Dr. Kenton wants to, wants to enslave the blacks again. He wants to create slavery legitimate. No, no, I don't think anybody's going to do that. However, I think we could argue and say we're all enslaved at this point. That's right. They have stolen all the money from us, all of our land, our institutions, all kinds of rights and stuff. They have stolen from us like crazy. And they have us waging wars, illegal, illicit wars around the world and contributing to the genocides of peoples like the people in Gaza. We're contributing to that right now. And Americans need to wake up and realize we need to put a handle on this government, yank it by the collar if we have to and tell them no. No more money goes to Israel until they're out of Gaza. That's right. No money goes there. Also, we need to stop the excess expenditures we have going there. They apparently get free medical care right down to getting brand new organs. If they want to come here, we'll take care of it all for them. We don't even do that for our own people. The Bible has quite a bit to say for the man or the people who will not take care of their own and their, their, their condemnations, in case you're wondering. But I want to read this to you because the 19th Amendment really helped screw the country up. And I want women to be prepared to make this sacrifice because I think it has to be done. And I need you to be desensitized. That's Amendment number 14. No, that's Amendment 24. In Roman numerals, I have to take a second to read those properly. So we're going to go back to the 19th Amendment. It's very short. These fellows were really bright, by the way. I mean, the wording is pretty good, but the problem is they ruined the country by giving women the right to vote. That's how we ended up with the temperance movement making, giving us... Uh, prohibition, which gave us organized crime, and then we had to create super organized crime on top of that, namely the FBI and the predecessor to the FBI, to go after the bootleggers who were crossing state lines. And I don't think we need to have an FBI, to be honest with you. Amendment number 19. The 19th Amendment was ratified August 18, 1920. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Doesn't mean having sex or having no sex. What they really should have said is on the account of gender. Because <laughs> sex is an action. Gender is a, is a, well, gender is basically a noun or an adjective. So Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Congress doesn't have the authority to do that. This was reserved to the states. So they expanded the federal government, giving it powers it did not have by doing this. And then we ended up, you know, with the, uh, oh, well, <laughs> The 20th Amendment. This actual booklet is not that good. 
I like the other one better because it has it has uh, things specified in it. It has some study notes, if you will. It has more appointments to it. Um, now, I want to point out now that there was no such thing as a citizen of the United States until the 14th Amendment created citizens of the United States out of the blacks in particular. And the 14th Amendment was not ratified by the Southern people. It wasn't done properly. They didn't have any say in it. They, their representatives were appointed by the North. They didn't elect them themselves. So they weren't represented. And that occurred for both the 14th and 15th Amendments. And so those should be null and void. And we were considered citizens of our states. That's right. We were landed citizens, citizens of our state. And then they gave us this United States citizen, which was for the blacks. And so they have us all lying about our citizenship now, not realizing what the truth is. The truth is they have no jurisdiction over a landed citizen of the states. They don't. <clears throat> but they created a citizen of the United States, and that's what they did with the blacks. So if you say you're a citizen of the United States, then that means you're a 14th Amendment citizen, which means you have some Negro blood in you because that's how they got their citizenship. Now, don't ask me too much about it. What I can tell you is in the Great American Reset, we go back to the original 13th Amendment. All subsequent amendments are null and void, including the legal precedents thereupon established. Is it going to be a mess? Yes, it's going to be a mess, but it has to be sorted out. And by the way, when we go back to the original 13th Amendment, the Bar Association attorneys can no longer work in this country. They can't hold positions elected or any, any positions which allow them to earn a living. That's right. They're stripped of any and all citizenship in these states. And I think that any of them with a dual citizenship should automatically be deported and banned. We can go further than that with it, but you get the general idea. We need to be able to defend ourselves, which means good, good fences, good boundaries, good borders. We don't have any of that going. We don't have it going physically on the most concrete level that the borders. Frankly, if I was president, I'd take over the whole country of Mexico. Sure, they'd be upset with it for a little bit, but <laughs> if I was president, Mexico is going to become wealthier than the United States. And you'll say, how? that's not fair. That's treasonous, traitors. No, no, no. We're going to go back to honest money, a constitutional currency. That's right, gold and silver. You're going to be carrying silver coins in your pocket again. The government's not going to be able to counterfeit those and then screw us up and take us to wars that we shouldn't be in. That's right. We want to stop those wars. We want to stop this credit system whereby we are actually enslaved to a few families. So I don't know if YouTube is going to like that video or not. I haven't seen it cleared yet. Uh, nope, I don't see it clearing. They don't like it. Well, I put a limitation on it. I, I did put the limitation. Okay, it looks like it's up. It looks like it's going to go. All right. Now, I do have the previous video, which I'd like to put up, but I want to make sure before I put it up. Um, this hate speech is pretty much my answer to the YouTube strike, if you will. YouTube uses algorithms and computers, and things get screwed up because they sent me two email messages saying, we've reviewed your content and determined it does not violate community standards, but yet they gave me a strike, and I got to go look at my status. See, this is why I'd like to hire somebody who's younger than myself and really knows this stuff to just take the burden from me and give me good advice and run it so that we can make some money. That's what I'm hoping for. But I'm not getting a response that I was hoping for from the young lady that, that I contacted. Okay, uh, she's engaged to somebody 
and she's got a, a baby. She's starting a family. She studied something about websites and internet. And my thinking is that I hope she's honest and I hope she's got real good values. And I hope she, I hope she wants her family for one. And that's really good motivation right there. And I hope she wants to be a stay at home mom, which I think is excellent for her, for the child and for the husband. Let her take care of him. And I hope that she'll be able to just dedicate whatever it takes to make things happen, to make cash flow in so I can pay her. That's what I want to do. I, that's what I want to do. That's how I want to do it. Um, we have got a mess in this country, and we need the Great American Reset. Why do we need that? Uh, because we have to restrict our government so that it doesn't go starting these stupid-ass wars abroad. They lied to us about everything. They lied about World War II when they got us into that. Abraham Lincoln wasn't exactly honest when he got us into the Civil War. And when that first president, the anti-war president, ran after they had started the Federal Reserve, he took us to war. Yeah. Uh, and then all of these different actions. I got a buddy. He's three years younger than I am. Played in the sandbox together. Remembers me better than I remember myself. He told me the action he'd seen. I asked him about Grenada only. He told me the places he'd been into. And I'm like, good God. I didn't know we were in there. So he was actually seeing action for damn near 20 years straight. This guy really served the country. Unfortunately, he's a little bit square-headed and jar-headed, and so is his country right or wrong. So if they tell him to take the you-know-what, he took the you-know-what. Now, I'm trying to see if I can get a hold of him and get him to take the antidote to that. So the antidote for what's ailing our nation is to give the whole world, especially our people, the Great American Reset. We need to go right back to the original structure our founders gave us. That's all we have to do. And by the way, we can only agree upon that. They have purposely divided us to conquer us. So we're not going to be able to agree upon anything else. So I'm telling you right now, let's cut to the chase. Let's just accept the fact that we can't agree upon anything, but we can go right to where the founders gave us the proper structure. And I have determined that. Yes, I, Dr. Kent, have made that determination. And I was queued up by uh, Eustace, Eustace Mullins, the great citizen of the state of, of Virginia. And the great citizen of Virginia. I never did get to meet him. An incredible author and just an incredible historian. Not a Bible scholar, per se, and I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm just a Bible reader. So I try to see everything through that lens. And I am critical of the Bible itself. And you will find that out. Now, I pray to God for resources. And I pray for a structure. I want, uh, I want people. I want them working. And I want them crafting up what I need. I want to accomplish a lot. And I want to go to my grave, not too early, not too late, just right at the right time. And I want to have saved my nation. And we and the whole planet are facing an incredible event that's going to be happening in 2046, late in 2046. So we have really less than 22 years, pretty much. Could be slightly over 22 years but the date is the 16th of October, plus or minus 60 days, which, you know, to me indicates on a bell-shaped curve that the statistics are that um, one standard deviation out 60 days on each side. So two standard deviations is going to be what a little bit further than that. Three standard deviations, you know, which basically gives it about a one ten thousandth possibility of happening. Anyway, I used to do advanced stats and calculus in my head, but I need somebody to help me handle myself at this point, handle my channel, handle my affairs and my business to a, as far as getting out into the public. My own stuff, oh, no, no, no. 
Nobody's going to dominate me. I got some friends I can turn to, which is really good. Wish I had a steady squeeze, but I'll be honest about that. And it wouldn't take much to convince me, but if the woman hasn't researched me, doesn't understand my mission and fully support it, no way. If she thinks she's going to dominate me like she has by controlling every other man because she's got the what between her legs, then forget it. It's just not going to happen. I urged my brothers out there not to go into these women. Forget about them. Leave them alone. The more you say no to them, the more they're going to wonder about you and the more power you're actually going to have. You know, if you can say no and they're like, why well, can't, I mean, I could have anybody other else I want. Why? What's so special about him? They'll actually value a bit more and they might start valuing themselves more too, which is what we also need but we don't need them valuing themselves to feed their own bellies, to feed their own whatever it is, Gucci, whatever the hell the stuff is they want us to buy from them. What we need them doing is looking to the children and rearing good children and keeping good homes and taking care of us so we can go out there and do our jobs and we can protect them, defend them, and we can go earn a living doing these more dangerous jobs we don't want our women doing, you know, we want to protect them. Anyway, I'm going to call it a little short. It's a little too long, over 20 minutes. Uh, my, my brother told me, cut it down short. So I am giving you the logic for why I made that outrageous statement that women need to give up the right to vote. That's not what I mean, but I want your attention because I think the states have to decide how they're going to have votes. I would like to see it become law that if a state cannot certify its votes reliably, then we don't count their electoral vote. And the rest of us can go about putting a proper president in office, but their vote's not going to count because they couldn't do it properly. I think there need to be consequences to behavior. That would be a reasonable consequence. The last time Pence did not do his job, I think the man needs to be held to account on that. I think forgiveness ultimately is what has to happen on that, but I think in the meantime, he needs to be sentenced fully for the crime he's committed once he's convicted of it. I've already covered that in another video. May Yahweh bless.